So Phyllis, this is all your work, correct? Correct. So could you tell us what got you into art? How long you've been doing this? I've probably got into this in the uh, 80s. My son came home from school and he had painted this toucan bird. And I told him, I said, Philip, that's really good. You, would you like to go out to the university and take some classes? And he said, yes, mom, if you will. So that's the way I got started. When you started this, what was the first medium that you got into doing art? Um, I started in oils. And I enjoyed that, but I was working at the time also, and it just took so much preparation time that one of my friends at church, I played the organ for the choir, and she was a soloist, and she was giving watercolor classes. So I got interested in that and went to watercolor, and I could pick that up anytime and paint. So that worked out really, really well. Along with watercolor, what other mediums have you experimented with over the years? Uh, I've done the acrylics, I've done some mixed media, I've done some resin. Uh, I just enjoy playing with all of it and just see what I can come up with, experiment, and uh, to make it interesting. So how long have you been in the Bavar County art scene? Since 2010. Currently, what's your favorite art piece right now? Oh, wow. I've got several. Uh, some are more deep in emotion than others. Um, the two that's hanging on the wall over there were very emotional. The blue one is called Outcry. And I did that going through some health issues and also the COVID. And the essence behind that is that we receive our strength from our relationship with the cross, which represents our Savior. And then the other one is called Higher Ground. And that I did that whenever they were tearing down all the statues and really just making a mess of everything. And I said, well, you can't pull the cross down. So that's the essence behind those two. And I uh, normally when I start, I have no idea what I'm going to paint. I just start. It develops. So your motivation comes from daily, everyday yeah. thoughts. Yeah, it's what I call inner, uh, inner visions. Uh, one time I was doing a workshop with an instructor, and I, he could tell I was getting real tight with it and he said, Phyllis, get out of the way and let spirit take control. And that just kind of relieved that anxiety that I felt like that I needed to be so perfect. And uh, it, was, it was good. If there was like any word of advice you wanted to give to like a young artist starting out, what would you tell them? Be open, be free with your um, work as far as showing it to people. Don't be afraid to ask how they feel about it. Um, and you have to treat it like a business if you get into it because it is a business. And I've um, been working with a young woman now that uh, I referred her to a couple of galleries in New York and so she's just signed up with them. So. I felt good about being able to pass that info on. That's really cool, Phyllis. So your art's all around the country, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's all over the world. Uh, it's going to be in uh, Venice in September, um, Rome in October, and then hopefully go to Madrid in April. And uh, it's called uh, Salty, Salty Charm. Salty Charm. Uh -huh. And I've got the different um, images in a different place, even the glass bank, since it's been torn down, but it's torn down when I painted it. But uh, the surfer, and I can't remember his name, but he's, that's well known from here. Kelly Slater? Yes, yes. Uh, and then the bow, uh, just kind of a collage of 
different things that happens on Yoko Beach. And then of course our rocket's going up. It's so interesting now, they go up and you say, oh, there goes a rocket. And the next one, they're docking. And then I did this, did the mural. How long did it take you to do this mural? I, I worked on it, you know, several months. Wow. I don't really know exactly. Um, but it's in 2010. I mean, that alone makes the house worth a million dollars. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. He has been working. He said he wanted to write a book. And I had talked to him. He said, I've always wanted to write a book and cover my art with the family. And so he took it. And it's a challenge, and he wrote the book. Nice. Worked on it for three years, and uh, we've had two printings of it. So you're on your third printing now? Well, this is the second printing. The second printing. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. And it's a, kind of a... Uh, you can find this book on Amazon as well? No. Just through, through my website. Through your website? Okay. Yeah. But it has still very impressive. It has uh, art in there and everything. Yeah, a lot of paintings and tell some of the little blips you know about about it. Uh, but an hour trips. And, uh, it's kind of it's kind of a personal book, but people that have bought it and have they said they really loved it. So that's my marquee who's who, and then. I quit painting for a while, just sporadically for family, after my husband passed and we didn't do the shows anymore and I closed my gallery in Tennessee. So when I came down here, Bud says, we need to get your work out there. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. Still a lot to do there, but... Just make it with people who want to come and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Now this is what I paint. So this is like your outside studio? Yeah. And I like your little thumbnail. Yeah. A cup with the blessings here. And the death of peace. And then our earth, which provides us with sunshine, sun and the moon, and uh, we're all down here. I have a tendency to develop things in the painting. You know, if I see it, I feel like it's supposed to come out. So a lot of times, I, well, like here, I've got a lot of dancers in there, a lot of people in there. And then um, this one over here, that one is called Trust and it's how we have trust in each other and then trust in our Heavenly Father with uh, the bird of peace and we go through life making music. One thing that we do also, and people have really been enjoying them, are these metal ones. And I get the uh, aluminum that you can hang outside in, around on your porch. And this is an abstract that I did many, many, many years ago. And my son had it, so I said, I'm going to borrow it and get it photographed. And I had me a metal one made on it. It's called Witch Door. Just vibrant and fun and movement and ocean. And... I like how you go from, you know, like, because I'm super abstract to, like, almost, like, realistic. Yeah. I kind of, I call them uh, figurative abstracts. Is there yeah. any closing words you want to share with our, our, our viewers before we go here? Well, kind of one of the things that I look at in my life, and when we get all upset and uptight, you have to think, Life is not a problem to be solved, but a gift to be enjoyed. Are you excited about 
uh, Art Fest by the Sea. Oh, yeah. It's always neat to get out there and be able to meet the people that like your work and look at your work. and You get to tell all the stories and see how they react and see if they see it the same way that I painted. So it's always neat. I'm looking forward to it. Glad you all are doing that. Can't wait to see you there, Phyllis. I will be there.